So if we turned on the men of letters, if, like Ketch yeah. lived and he was alive, and if we were to turn on yeah, the men of letters. Yeah, and you guys have to take down the letters. By the way, epic spinoff, let's just be honest. <laughs> And yeah, I mean, no, I mean, we had talked about this before. We were like, we were like I, I, I wanted to, the idea of what would the global men of letters look like if they became a unified group, like you'd have Japan, Brazil, Australia, Canada. So no, the Canadian men of letters. Hey, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, Mr. Werewolf, you're okay. Yeah, uh, just go over here. I'm sorry. Yeah. So we're trying to make up with Sasquatch, eh? So we just took him a, like a 2-4 or a beer and we just said, Hey, let's take it easy. We don't have to fight each other. Let's just give it a hug and have some beers and gin chodes around the fire, right? But have some Nutella. For, like, we'll uh, go to Timmy Ho's and get a double-double and we'll call it a night, right? <laughs> Do you have Timmy Ho's in Jersey yet? Has it made its way down? Tim Hortons? No. Vermont has it. Coffee is good. But not New Jersey? You got Timmy Hose in New York, but not in New Jersey. Yeah. New York, New York, New York, New York. Um, but I think we would actually, to answer your question, we would uh, it would be a fun double agent thing where we would work from the inside, don't you think? Yeah, would that be a good way to do it? Yeah, like, I think the first port of call would be to kill Dr. Hess. Would be like Because you were close to being a double agent, right? Like, I, you, if I you had lived, lived, I was on the way, way to being that. Yeah, uh, yeah I, think that's, I think that would have been... To answer the question even better than someone asked, well, what, what would happen to Mick? I think that's exactly... He would have tried to... to uh, to, because he would have felt bad for for all his brethren, even people like yourself um, and Lady Bevel and everyone else that came through the the, the horrible uh, institution that was Kendrick's. And I suppose that's what he would do. He would try and get back in there. He would execute Dr. Hess in the most insane way possible. Do you think you could deprogram um, Catch? Like, uh, Ketch tried to program Mary? Do you think there's a way out of the brainwashing? Well, I think, I think by the end of, like, you, like by the end of the, of, of the show, you, like, you know, although you didn't have a heart, you, you had a, you, you kind of had a heart, you know what I mean? Well, I had a heart and then I didn't have a heart. Yeah, you had a heart and you didn't have a heart, yeah. But, like, I think you, you know, what did you say that you're one of your last lines of meant to friends? Yeah, I love that. That they're, my favorite little line that sort of got me a little bit in my, in my, in my feels on the day. Yes, with he all the, with, the back, <laughs> with all the backstory was when he gets out of the hospital bed and he goes, I have to see my friends. And I think that's the first time that he's ever known what friendship is. Aww. And, uh, oh, yeah. God, Ketch. He's an asshole. No. And, no, but I think, I, I, I honestly, I, 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 so to answer your question, I think Mick would have tried to kind of get, infiltrate that side of you, whether it would have worked or not. Hey, listen, we're the writers. We can do whatever we want. Well, and you'd be like, um, we're gonna get some really nice therapy catch twice a week and uh, some some hugs. We, I might have to like uh, I might have started off with a big like fight where you're getting the better of me and then I have to like you know trick you and then cage you right and feed you like nice, nice things like, and play play like the sound of music like I'm naked in my own filth. No 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 I put clothes on you a nappy I put a nappy a diaper like a man diaper a man a, a diaper on you and then I I have you in a cage and like you know Clockwork Orange. You know, have you seen that movie Clockwork yeah. Orange? Yeah, and you like do the, the, the eyelids and yeah. the deprogram. So they 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 like the, uh, they, and they show you all the the the, 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 the war and stuff. But I would show you nice things, nice. like the Teddy Tubbies, and like in uh, My Pretty Pony and Rainbow Dash. And yes, My Little Pony. I love that. Or Care Bears. Remember the Care yes. Bears? Care Bears. Scare. <laughs> and then you would go. Oh, you wake up one day and you're like, Oh my God, fluffy lads. Yeah. Life is great. And then, and then he comes out and he's cured and, and catches a furry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're a furry. You were in my head right there. Like a big, well, I think, well, I just looked at myself. I'm like, easy Jones, you're, you're a partial furry right now in your little costume, cosplay. There's a lot of explaining going on in your ass. Oh, okay, there we go. Lisa, how are you? I love 